As we all know, TSMC, as a global foundry giant, has won more than half of the global market share and even has many giant customers, such as Apple, Huawei, Intel, Qualcomm, and other manufacturers, which also benefits from its advanced technology. Process technology and perfect industrial chain. However, after the United States revised the new product rules many times, TSMC was ordered not to give Huawei OEM chips, so that it lost Huawei as a major customer. This has also put TSMC into a situation of not getting to shore. After all, China is the world's largest consumer market today, and cutting off supply to Chinese manufacturers is equivalent to self-destructing its future. Although US companies such as Apple and Qualcomm have increased orders after the supply of Huawei was cut off, which can make up for TSMC's losses, from a long-term perspective, accelerating the independent research and development of Chinese chips is not a good thing for TSMC. And today's TSMC is also overly reliant on American technology. Whether it is manufacturing technology, management technology, or lithography machine, it needs to be nodded by the United States. This is why TSMC can only unconditionally agree to cut off the supply of Huawei under the order of the United States. At the same time, after the blockade suppressed Huawei, the United States did not stop there, but increased its efforts to try to curb China's development in the field of chip semiconductors in all aspects. On the one hand, it would allies to boycott Chinese manufacturers, on the other hand, it would other manufacturers to build factories in the United States, continue to expand their technological hegemony, and even revised and introduced the 1,000-page chip bill, so that everyone could see its ambitions. Because the U.S. chip bill mentioned a subsidy of 52.7 billion U.S. dollars, of which 39 billion was given to giant manufacturers who built factories in the United States within two years, but there is a requirement that they cannot build factories in China within 10 years. To put it bluntly, this is the candy cannonball released by the United States. Either choose to stand in the United States or choose China. And TSMC is also helpless and can only follow the back of the United States and plans to achieve mass production of 5 nanometers chips in the United States in 2024. But what surprised TSMC was that it has built a factory in the United States for more than two years, but the subsidies mentioned have been delayed for a long time, and even found that the subsidies mentioned in the United States are basically given to domestic manufacturers in the United States, and at the same time American local manufacturers have also begun to bypass TSMC and Japan for chip technology research and development cooperation and established a semiconductor research and development center, mainly breaking through the 2 nanometers process. What surprised TSMC even more was that the United States also included TSMC on the unsafe list and required TSMC to hand over data. At this moment, TSMC realized that it was like a chess piece being tossed around. It is no wonder that Morris Jong, the founder of TSMC, publicly complained. It is not a wise choice to build a factory in the United States, because the cost is at least three times higher than that in Taiwan. In fact, it seems today that the development of TSMC is facing two huge pressures. On the one hand, it was deceived by the United States, and on the other hand, it lost the Chinese market. Because after 2020, 
China has begun to increase investment in research and development in the field of chip semiconductors. SMIC is the best example. Since SMIC was not optimistic at the beginning, it has gradually broken through 14 nanometers, 7 nanometers, N plus 1 or N plus 2, and other process technologies, and everyone has seen the huge potential of Chinese chips. At the same time, some time ago, SMIC invested 7.5 billion US dollars to build a factory in Tianjin to further expand production capacity. Because SMIC's share in the global market is increasing, although it is in the low-end ranks, it also means that SMIC has reached a higher level in the low-end industry, and it is no longer the one that TSMC looked down on at the beginning, kid. At the same time, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has also spoken out to achieve a chip self-sufficiency rate of 70% by 2025, which means that after the loss of TSMC, China's chip semiconductor field has not sunk, but has become more and more brave. In just two years, my country's chip imports have decreased by tens of billions. In the face of repeated blockades by the United States, China's chip and semiconductor field not only did not fall down, but instead made concerted efforts to fight more and more bravely. This is a fact that TSMC, or all Western manufacturers dare not admit. This is also the emotion that foreign media will sigh. This is the consequence of excessive blockade and suppression, which will only accelerate the speed of China's independent research and development. Looking back on the past, TSMC founder Zhong Zhongmo also released a rhetoric saying, the whole country in mainland China cannot create high-end chips. But now it seems that China may not be able to create high-end chips, but at least in the low-end ranks, it can give TSMC power. What's more, today's Chinese chip semiconductors have ushered in the dawn. I firmly believe that as long as domestic manufacturers insist on R&D and innovation, and insist that Qingshan will not relax, they will be able to break through the chip difficulties in the near future, and domestic manufacturers will once again stand on the global stage and hold the big flag. At the same time, the United States wants to master the high-end industrial chain and gain the right to speak in the high-end chip market. It's just that the coverage of high-end chips is limited, far less than the wide application of mature chips in the market. In mature chips, many technologies and equipment can be self-sufficient without importing. If the United States does not turn around in time, it will only be mired in rules.